Frozen pipes aren't just a cold weather problem. In fact, homes that are most vulnerable are the ones that aren't prepared for those cold snaps. So Frank, what are some things that we can do to keep our pipes from freezing? One of the things you can do that's very easy to prevent your pipes from freezing is to run the water in the fixtures. Uh, just a small little trickle is generally enough. You could also put a bucket underneath to capture the water so that the water, instead of just going down the drain, can be used to water your plants or can be used to water your pets. All right, so there's one more thing we can do, right? Keep our cabinet doors open, why? Well, that will let the warm air inside the cabinet. You can also put a little fan or a blower to actually let for more, more warm air get to the pipes and prevent them from freezing. So what is this? This is actually tape that heats up. How does it work? When the temperature drops, it sends a small current through the wire, which keeps the pipe warm and prevents it from freezing. You'll put this tape on, you'll attach it in place. All right, so that seems pretty easy. You simply run the insulation over the top. What can we do if we get caught off guard though? Well, if you're caught off guard, you wake up and your faucet is not working. Um, most people have a hair dryer around the house. And you can just start at the faucet on the uh, cold lines and just work your way down the, the pipe. Once you see the faucet starting to drip, you'll know that success is close at hand. So there's one more item you may have at home that may feel a little unusual, but could really be helpful in a situation like this. So what is that? <laughs> It's actually a heating pad that you would generally keep yourself warm with in your bed at night. You can actually take the heating pad, wrap it around the piping, and the nice thing about it is you don't have to actually physically get under there like you do with the hair dryer. You can let the, the heating pad do the work for you. That's so smart. If you plan on leaving the home for a few days, um, you can turn your thermostat down to 50 degrees. You really don't want to go any lower than that. So when do we give up? When do we call for help? <laughs> well, when you've been working on it for a while and you're really not making any progress, you're not getting the faucet to drip, uh, either that or your wife tells you it's just time to call a plumber, honey. That's a sign. <laughs> <laughs>